Hey everyone, welcome to the Gamer's Refuge. Today we're going to play a little Fallout 4. This isn't exactly a, um, you know, let's play video or nothing. I actually want to show you a little something. Um, you know, for those who haven't gotten, you know, as far as, you know, going to the Institute for the first time, uh, I will warn you ahead of time that uh, there will be some spoilers. So, if you don't want to know about anything going on within the Institute or whatever, if you haven't been there yet, you might not want to watch this. So, with that being said, let's continue on. Now, there's a bit of a discrepancy in the storyline. Um, and I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to show you uh, in a few different steps here, you know, you know what the hole, is, what the holes are in the storyline, and what doesn't make any fucking sense whatsoever. Now I want you to pay very close attention to the, uh, what's being said on the radio. All right, and in in this particular scene, this is where Kellogg has uh, the ten-year-old Sean, and uh, is you know awaiting the Corsair to take him back to the Institute. Now, pay very close attention to what is being said on that radio. All right, what you heard on the radio was actually Travis, um, and if you've done any of the side missions in Diamond City, um, he's the uh, the radio DJ that has a severe self-esteem, you know, problem. You know, is not very confident, you know, as you could hear in the radio, and he's talking about how Piper has done it again. She, you know, basically she's you know, pissing off the mayor. Um, keep in mind, Piper is only like, probably like in her 20s, as is Travis. And we have 10 year old Sean sitting on the floor. All right? Remember that. Wasn't my idea to settle down with the kid in the middle of Diamond City. <laughs> I thought it was a terrible idea, actually. But it was one of the old man's pet project so here we were me and the kid like a happy little family all right and there um you know through kellogg's own recollection from, through his memories um he said that the 10 year old sean there is one of the old man's pet projects so let's uh let's continue on and I'm going to show you why this is just kind of fucked up. Alright, we're going to go talk to Elder Max in here, and after that we're going to teleport into the Institute. So again, if you've not been to the Institute yet, um, you may not want to watch anymore. So, let's continue. And here we go. And I assume this is the old man from Kellogg's memories, although they never really say. But let's uh, go ahead and talk to him and get a sense of what's going on. Uh, give me Sean. The real Sean. Right now! I know. I know. You've gone to such lengths to find him. All we're missing are the teacups and the, the white rabbit. Ah, levity. Excellent. A sure sign that you adapt quickly to stressful environment. But I need you to realize that this situation is far more complicated than you could have imagined. You have traveled very far and suffered a great deal to find your son. Well, 
Your tenacity and dedication have been rewarded. It's good to finally meet you. After all this time. It's me. I am Sean. I am... Your son. Okay. Now... This is where it starts becoming bullshit. Uh, he is definitely not a ten-year-old boy, and Piper is not exactly old and decrepit. Uh, are you following? So let's continue on, and he'll give a little bit more information. Bullshit, is it? After all the things you've seen and experienced in the Commonwealth. Think about it. In the vault, you had no concept of the passage of time. You were released from your pod and went searching for the sun. You'd lost. But then you learned that your son was no longer an infant, but a ten-year-old boy. You believed that ten years had passed. Is it really so hard to accept that it was not ten, but sixty years? That is the reality, and here I am, raised by the Institute, and now its leader. So, 60 years. So, that would make Piper, she was, say, in, say she's in her 20s, and Sean was only 10, whatever, and he's in his, si this he's really 60. Importance. There we go. You know, if he's 60, that would put Piper in her 70s, as well as Travis. Here we have Piper. She sure as fuck don't look 70 something to me. So, here's where we run into the issue. We have Father who claims to be Sean. He's 60 years old. But yet, we seen in Kellogg's memories. Sean was 10 years old, sitting on the floor, the radio broadcast is gone, about, and Travis talking about, you know, how Piper was pissing off the mayor again, you know, and you find out, you know, early on before, you know, when you first meet Piper, that she has a tendency of pissing off the mayor with her, you know, newspaper that, you know, she controls. So, you know, so just to recap, 10-year-old Sean, sitting on the floor, listening to the radio. Piper's pissing off the mayor with most likely her newspaper, as usual. And then you have this old fart who claims to be Sean, and he's 60. There's no fucking way. There, this is either a very, very serious oversight, you know, on the story, on Bethesda's part, or there's... Maybe maybe there's going to be something in the DLC that takes us further, and you know to where we realize okay the old man really isn't Sean he was just trying to you know use our protagonist you know to obtain whatever it was that he wanted making him think that he was Sean you know and playing on his uh, you know the fact that you know our protagonist has been in you know, cryostasis, and has no conception of time during the time that he was frozen. So, you know, use, using that to his advantage, you know, to manipulate him and make him believe that he's his son. Now, yeah, and the one thing that does get me a little bit is no matter how you take the conversation with Father, it always comes down to, okay, he's shot. He's, you know, our protagonist's son. You know, you can call, call bullshit all you want. You can threaten him. You can whatever. It doesn't matter. It's, it's the same outcome. And that, that to me is a little disappointing that the dialogue really makes no difference, you know, in this area. So, but like I said, we either have a very serious plot hole here, or a hole in the story, rather, and Bethesda's team working on this game for like five fucking years never caught it which I seriously doubt or maybe this is something we're going to see in the DLC at least I hope because 
this makes no sense. It makes no sense at all. So hopefully, you know, they take this further in the DLC and, you know, you know, bring out that the old man really wasn't Sean, he's just being a manipulator, and now you gotta go find the real Sean. So, and not just the, the little robot copy that he had down, you know, in in there that you seen earlier. So, yeah, that, that, that to me, it just, it didn't make any sense, and, you know, just, for me, that just totally fucks the story. For me when I realized all that and I heard that radio broadcast in Kellogg's memory is that you know at first I was like oh okay you know yeah 60 years you know it's not so hard to believe really you know you're in cross stasis you, you don't know you don't know the you, you're not sensing the passage of time but you know after I I actually noticed what the radio what was going on with the radio and stuff is it's just like you know it, it just it was basically a mind fuck. It's like, no, th this cannot be right. You know, something, something is not right. But yeah, th that's my, yeah, that's my take on it. I, I hope that this is going to lead into a DLC. You know, where we're going to go find the real Sean, and he's still, you know, a young child. You know, and then go from there. But if not, then this is a seriously big fucking hole in the story and you know I'm just I'm amazed that Bethesda people didn't catch this if that is the case you know whatever the case is you know hell uh, you know leave your comments down below you know I'd like to hear what you think about this and you know if you've noticed this as well or you know if you had noticed until you seen this video you know, I don't know if anybody else has done a video about this specific thing or not. So, I mean, I haven't seen any. But, uh, yeah, just leave your comments down below. You know, um, I'm interested in seeing what everybody's, you know, thinking on this. And, uh, you know, that, and that's it for this one. So, you know, um, hit that like button if you like. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Remember, I'm on Facebook at The Gamers Refuge, so if you have a Facebook account, go over there and smack the shit out of that like button there, if you would. I'd greatly appreciate it. As always, I appreciate everybody taking time to watch my videos, and until next time, I will see you in the games.